But before we move on, let's just talk a little bit about the basics of coding for a browser, right? So you guys need to at least have an understanding about what a browser actually does for you. And there are at least four very important things you need to understand before you start developing for browsers. And one thing is you have to learn about HTML. Now there are different versions of HTML. This tutorial on W3 Schools is for HTML5. You can go and watch it if you want to and just look at what you actually can do with HTML. HTML is pretty much the building structure of your website. It's where, let me just show you here, this is an example of an actual HTML page and this is what a browser can interpret. This is what a browser can work with, right? So this guy, the browser says, I expect you to show this and then you have some text here like HTML and you end with HTML. These are what we call tags, right? So we have two tags, a start tag and an end tag here. And inside those we expect there's a head and a body tag. There's the head, there's the body, and in that we have some other tags. So that's that's HTML. That's what the browser can interpret. So that's HTML in its purest form right here. Just a list of ta tags. That's all it is. So the page you're looking at right here, if I want to see the HTML, I can right click here and I can say, you page source, like this, and I'll see the actual HTML. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Looks nice. Notice this is all the HTML. And you can also see this is a kind of a scary page to try and code in, right? So if I had to code this right now, where, where should I go? There's so much to look at. There are different reasons for this being so complex, but that's kind of what we want to avoid with Angular. But back to the HTML. This is the HTML for you and you can go play around with it if you just want to get a very basic introduction to HTML. Go to W3 Schools, get to HTML, and then the next guy. Because HTML is cool, but we want to have colors on our pages, right? We don't want boring buttons. If you, if you survived as long as I have, you've seen buttons on the internet that look like they weren't very pretty and <clears throat> we want it to shine now. We want it to be pretty. We want it to be beautiful to look at, right? So the CSS comes in and it makes our screens beautiful. It makes our, our, our look and feel a lot better. Like these buttons, they're shiny, right? They're more shiny than the basic buttons we normally saw. Here's an icon right here. Woo! Icons. And there's a globe. Wait, that's also a button. So in the old days, this wouldn't look like this. It would look horrific. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be very pretty. Pictures, stuff like that. So the CSS can help us <clears throat> kind of make each area prettier. So let's just try this ourselves just to show you. Here we have some paragraph. If I want to change the color of the background, uh, let's make it brown like this and I can do a run and notice now it's actually, uh, that's not brown but who cares. So this is what you can do with CSS. You can prettify your things. You can make them nicer to look at, right? You can change colors. You can change uh, this is where we want to align our text. We want it right aligned. Just to give an example about that, there we go. Now it's over here, right? So you have the power to manipulate where should things be placed, how should it look. That's the part for the CSS to do. The last thing you need to understand when you're working with um, web pages is JavaScript because we want our things to be dynamic as well. We might want, um, we want to be able to click a button and then we want to do something in the background when we click that button. Maybe a table disappears. That's kind of JavaScript, but poof, then the table disappeared. So we can manipulate something called the DOM with JavaScript. So here if I click this guy, click, uh, I see it in time, right? That was JavaScript behind the scenes that called some programmatically things to make, get the current date time and actually present it. This guy was hidden, now it's visible. That's JavaScript manipulating something called the DOM. So the JavaScript is more of the tool that can kind of change things on your web page. It can make it dynamic, right? And then there's the DOM I just talked about. Now the DOM is the document object model. That's just a huge list about how things should be presented. And the goal for the JavaScript is to manipulate this DOM so we can start moving things around in this hierarchy. We can go and grab specific elements and change the text of the elements. We can do so many things with uh, JavaScript that manipulate this DOM. So those four areas is something I really encourage you to at least spend 10 minutes on each area just reading the first few pages just with an introduction, home and introduction at least, and just to get an overview about what these guys are all about. And you can find them all on W3 Schools and that's great documentation about these guys and you can see a lot of information about for instance the DOM if you want to. So just go and spend a bit of time there. Um, there's one more link I want to show you guys if you really want to dive into this. And there it just popped up here in the center. It's called Code Academy, and I really use this a lot myself um, as I teach because I think it's a great place to go and actually learn stuff. You need to log in, you need to create a user. But here you can go and learn about a lot of different things like introduction to JavaScript, learn CSS, learn HTML. These, they're estimated to being around, well, there's a lot of hours here, right? But it's a very, very cool thing to just go through. A lot of it works perfectly and then you have a few errors here and there. 
um, but I really I really encourage learning from this site if you if you want to just get started with these HTML, CSS, and JavaScript because there's a lot of good stuff in here and it's a dynamic learning so you'll see your result all the time you'll get a good guide on how to move forward so if if these four pages uh, from W2 School is not enough go to Code Academy create an account and try and look at the different courses they have in there for free so I think that's it for this lesson now you kind of know the basics of a web page. Those are the basics. And any page you look at, you can go and you can also inspect here and you can actually see this is the page right here. Notice all this beautiful HTML. There's also some JavaScript, but in in the common sense, you start with an HTML tag, you have a head, you have a body tag, and in there you have a lot of different HTML displaying just the page you want to show to the customer. You have a lot of JavaScript in here that can do stuff when he clicks things, things will change. Notice here I switch page only, but you can do so many things on an HTML page. I'll stop here because there's so much more I want to tell you. See you next time.